Hello you guys and welcome back to another Vivian Tries. On this Vivian Tries, I have six dollar store products that you don't need until you need. Number one, egg shelling tool, $1.50. Thank you, Daiso. Do you guys know that the as seen on television crazy folks try to sell these products for $19.99? And Daiso said, Pump the brakes, we can do it for $1.50, guys. Calm down, everybody. Stop ordering from that 1-800 number. Now you can crack your hard-boiled eggs. Done, breakfast kids, come get it. I love y'all, have a good day. <laughs> That's what you're gonna say from now on. They're so cheap that you could get one for each of the kids and they can shake their own eggs. That's fun. On the way to school, that's an activity that keeps them out of your hair, that keeps them entertained, that teaches them how to cook and provide for them. <laughs> It's so wrong, but I'm just saying, we gotta teach the kids how to do stuff too. And it's super easy. They're gonna learn it after training one. They're gonna be certified. <laughs> you stupid Vivian, okay. You're gonna place one boiled egg into the little thing and then shake the hell out of it. Your car's gonna smell like ass, <laughs> but it's gonna smell like ass if you're doing this in the morning on the way to school. Cause you're not gonna take it out of the car till you get home and ooh. <laughs> So I'm sorry, but at least the kids are quiet. Cute, simple, and inexpensive. That is the ultimate trifecta of product features. There you go. Some of them you do have to add a little bit of water, but this doesn't say anything. It says place the hard boiled egg in the product, shake until shell breaks, remove hard boiled egg, and send them off to school. That's what, <laughs> that's what it says. Here's a pro tip just in case. The kids are in the car, and then sometimes the shell will stick to the egg, and then they're chewing on shells, and then they throw up. <laughs> And then you got a bigger mess than you wanted. <laughs> I mean, I might be wrong. I might do this and they come out perfectly without any shells attached. Okay, ready? One, two, three, go. Oh, just don't do it too hard because it's gonna bust up your egg. So tell the kids, be gentle kids. Here's a game all the way to school. <laughs> That's a good thing if it's hard to, I can already smell the, the egg. <laughs> Oof. You see what I'm saying? See how it sticks? Yeah, it was a little rough with that one. I mean, this is working, but that water, these would just slide off. Add the water just so they don't have to do too much. Look at that, beautiful, perfect. I just tore it up right there a little bit because I got excited. So I'm gonna give the egg shaking tool five Vivian heads. Number two. Simple seat covers for your car. So the kids don't make a mess, you don't make a mess. If you're Ubering, is that a word? And you don't like nasty people sitting on your stuff? Protect your seats, you only get one. But that's not bad for $1.50 if you can reuse them. They're waterproof, right? Are they made out of plastic? Oh, listen, they're giving you business ideas like I do. Oh. They watch my videos, yes they do. When renting a car or using a car sharing service. Oh, for yourself. <laughs> if you're getting into an Uber. See, I don't wanna touch nothing, but I'm just a germaphobe, so I will absolutely take this. Shit, I'm taking this to the movie theater. <laughs> Don't dare me, cause I will take this shit. I'm taking this grandma's house. She's gonna slap me in the mouth. <laughs> Rest in peace, grandma. I'm going to your grandma's house with this. Oh, it's a nice material. This is for anything. If you're going movie theaters, church, a stranger's house you've never been to, Golden Corral, a baseball game. Those seats have never been wiped down. Oh, this is huge. <laughs> $1.50, this is pretty good. I'm telling you, if you're an Uber driver and you don't want your Lexus messed up, <laughs> right? Look at this, put their head on your damn headrest on an airplane. You ain't gotta touch no fungalitis. For everybody who's still bleaching the seats with the little wipes, just take this, you ain't gotta do all that work. And then you, you're gonna pass. <laughs> And then be a kind person and pay it forward. Leave it on the seat. I got you, you get the next person. Right? Because this goes on the headrest on the seat on the plane. See, two people can enjoy this. One side and then the next person flips it over and they get a fresh side. And then the next person just washes it with you <laughs> Y'all, I have endless amount of ideas. And obviously Daiso knows it because they're putting business ideas on these packages now. That's my thing. Watch yourself. <laughs> I don't know who I'm talking to. I love Daiso. Yes, yes, and yes. It has the little tie so you can tie it. Doesn't move around when somebody's sitting on it in your little Uber. Maybe even in the car for the kids. If they went to the swimming, oh my God, so many ideas. The kids went to the swimming pool and you don't want them wetting your seats. Boom, have a couple of these in the car during the week for the kids and the weekend to Uber. 
it's a win-win. And because they're your kids and your germs, you don't have to throw it away after every time they use it. Just hang it out to dry once they wet it. The quality is great. So for all of those reasons, I'm gonna get the seat covers, five Vivian heads. Number three. Rain bag cover for backpacks. Listen, I always say this, but it is so true. Daiso, the Japanese dollar store, whatever you guys wanna call it, they have the most unique, just genius ideas for products that you're like, oh my God, I wish somebody would invent that. Yeah, they probably carry it because if it's a good idea, they're gonna make it. That's how it works because who thought of this? A cover for your backpack? <laughs> These are products you don't need until you need. Nobody needs a damn backpack cover until that day that your kid's walking home and all his stuff got wet. Or maybe you're on a cruise, soon. Maybe you're on a cruise and then it starts raining in the middle of nowhere. Now your backpack's all wet with your passport and your money and all your clothes, your cell phone, everything's getting wet. Throw a couple of these in your backpack, boom. Problem solved. You didn't need it till you needed it. I'm changing the name of the video. It's gonna be the dollar store products that you don't need until you need. Make sense of that. <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong. He needs a poncho and a poncho for the backpack. Oh, this is for all kinds of stuff too, not just that. Grocery bags. <gasps> is it big? Oh, oh, look at that. It's a giant hairnet. Oh, multi-purpose, multi-use. <gasps> when you're dyeing your hair in the shower for the backpack. Oh, I saw this on TikTok. When you have a big old casserole and you need to cover that up. Recycle it for the next event or for the next vacation. Let me set the scene at the Daiso research and development meeting. They're like, okay, guys, here's a hairnet. How many different products can we make from this one? They're geniuses over there. I need to go to training at their corporate offices. Please invite me, fly me out. This is one product that they've recreated for 50,000 things. Look for the kids. Their backpack is not gonna get wet. <laughs> it's perfect. Look at this. It's happened to me a number of times. It starts raining out of nowhere. If you're at the beach and you don't have a palm tree to sit under, boom, take out your bag. And everybody's gonna look around and be like, damn, I wish I had one of those <laughs> products that you don't need until you need. <laughs> That's a genius line. <laughs> I'll put it on a t-shirt. Vivian reviews the products you don't need until you need. So I'm gonna give the backpack rain covers slash hairnet slash casserole covers five Vivian heads. Number four, lint remover. I've never owned one of these and I've always wanted one because that one time every two years <laughs> <laughs> that you need to get some lint off clothes. It's such a pain in the butt to be picking at the little fuzzies that you get on clothes when you're about to go out and you're like, I don't have time for this, just throw it away. <laughs> like that's how frustrated I get. So this for $1.50 is a lifesaver that one time every two years. I even heard that you don't even need this. I think you can do it with a man's razor. I mean, you're probably gonna bust it up, but if you have an emergency and you can't get one of these at the dollar store, or then use your, your lover's razor, <laughs> the electric razor. That's what I mean. I just wanted one of these because listen, I've cussed out my imaginary best friend a number of times because I couldn't get fuzzies off my clothes. To me, it's worth 150 up to $2. It has a beautiful brownish, grayish 70s color to it. And even the little plastic is like this yellowish color, which takes me back to the 70s. But as long as it works, that's all that matters. Now, do we need batteries? I imagine you do. Two AA batteries have been installed. Now, I wanna take the little brush that's inside out. Oh, gently pull it away and then put it back. I wonder if this would work as a man's razor. Don't use this as a man's razor now. Cut your damn face off. Okay, boom, back. Then it has a little guard for this part. Don't put this on your face. You can use at your own risk <laughs> your lover's razor on your clothes, but do not use the lint razor remover on your face on your skin or anything like that. That's crazy. So let's turn it on to see how loud and scary it is. Oh, hell no, do not put this to your face. Oh my God, how scary. Look at that. 
I might just use my lover's razor. I'm gonna give you an example of what I had to do about three weeks ago. I had six pair of white socks. The problem is that I got these beautiful burgundy sheets and they had fuzzies that stuck to my socks. So I had white socks with burgundy fuzzies that I could not remove because there was like a million of them on each sock. So I had to literally throw away six pairs of socks. And so I kept this one and these are not white, but you can see here all of the fuzzies on this dang sock. In theory, if this works, all of these fuzzies will be gone, right? Isn't that the idea of this damn thing? <laughs> Let's see if we can get this to work. I have the sock and then I have my hoodie, which I wear so much and I wash so much and I just lounge in it so much that it has fuzzies. I want to take it off that too. First, we'll do the socks because I can't keep throwing away socks. Okay, ready? Oh, but why does it sound like that? Back. Okay, look at the fuzzies, they're in there. Well, okay, that's impressive, but it's loud and dangerous. This works. <laughs> oh, here's another tip. Don't you dare do this while you're wearing anything. You better take it off, put it on the bed because it just got caught on the sock. <gasps> if this was your skin, it would have pinched and cut you. So do not do this like me. It took the fuzzies off my sock. I can't continue because I'm nervous now. I'm scared it's gonna suck me up. Let's try it on the hoodie, as you should be doing. On the bed, okay. just put the hoodie down. So I bet you money that you're supposed to just lay something flat, right? That would be the intelligent thing to do. And then turn on your little machine. And then you can get close or, you know, put a little pressure on it. If this makes a hole on my hoodie, we're about to fight. But if not, then it should work like a razor on your face, right? You might want to hold it taut. <laughs> That's a beauty makeup guru term. Okay, ready? One, two, three, go. Wow, it got a lot of the black fuzzies off, but I don't know why I was thinking it was gonna do more, like <laughs> make it brand new. No, it doesn't do that. Oh, there's quite a bit of fuzzies right here, look. And they're not even fuzzies, are they? You know, like when underneath your arm when it's rubbing like this, it makes those little, I guess they're called fuzzies, I don't know. It is working, it is cutting the fuzzies off, but I don't know that I would trust it on anything delicate or anything that like I can't replace or that I am so attached to because I don't know if it could damage it or cause a hole or whatever because it is really cutting. So be careful when using it. Okay, the more I use it, the more impressed I am. This is gonna save a lot of your outfits, I think. Just be careful, don't let the kids play with this. So I'm gonna give the clothes razor, <laughs> the clothes lint remover, three Vivian heads. Number five. Spice squares to keep all your spices. How cute is this? And on the back, it has a little magnet so you can have like all the spice, maybe not all your spices, but the ones that you use a lot or the most frequent, put them in these cute little things and then you can put them on the fridge. You don't have to go hunting for them. These are so cute and guess what? Not everybody has them because the only store that I've seen these at is Daiso. And for $1.50 for one little square, that's not too crazy, right? Is it? It probably is. Cause you can buy the little glass shakers. Those are expensive too. I like these, they're unique and they have a magnet. For maybe a small apartment where you don't have a lot of like cabinet room or drawers to put spices in, put them on the refrigerator. I bet you could DIY this too, huh? I bet we could. You guys, we could DIY this. You can buy the little magnet to put in the back. Let somebody figure it out and let me know. But if you're not a DIYer like we are, look how cute this is. What the hell? Why does it have silicone in the back? Huh? Oh, it doesn't have to be a ma Oh, it doesn't have to be a magnet if you don't want it to be a magnet. No, it has to be a magnet. <laughs> I was about to say, you can see the magnet inside of there and it has two little openings, one there. So if you wanna sprinkle it on, or the one with a bigger hole, you need a lot. <laughs> and I love it has a little window so you can see what's inside. It opens up, is it weird? I don't know why I feel like that's not very secure, having it just like that. But we'll give it a try, Vivian. Don't be scared of everything. <laughs> okay, let's put some spices in and test it out because 
I like the idea. I'm just nervous about the new design. I'm just not used to it. Any instructions that I need to read? No, pretty basic to use. They look so adorable on the packaging here. You can do like dried rosemary, all kinds of stuff, so cute. So I have here this giant thing of spices. Super easy to use, you don't need instructions. Just pour it in like so. Oh. Oh, Vivian. <laughs> Ah, I just knew that was gonna happen. I'm gonna like, say, oh my God, Vivian, you're doing the mostest. Hold on, put them back. It's all over my desk. Okay, all cleaned up, the lid back on, super easy. What do you think? Look at it. Is that adorable? Oh, your apartment's gonna look so cute. <laughs> or your kitchen, it doesn't matter if it's an apartment or not. And then when you're cooking, all you need to do is pop this open like that and then sprinkle it. Oh, why do I love it? Why does it feel so nice? Can you put these on the table as well? It feels really nice. I don't know if that's weird, but the design of it feels really nice in my hand. Put it on your fridge. Look how cute that's gonna look. And then have different ones. Have the pepper, have your salt, have your, I was gonna say asparagus, but I don't think you put asparagus in here. I mean, maybe there's dried, I don't know, asparagus salt. Is that a thing? I don't know, but I think they're super cute for $1.50. I don't think they're super cheap, but I don't think they're crazy either, especially how cute they're gonna look. So I'm gonna give the Spice Squares four Vivian heads, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.